Now we're going to talk for a minute about combining and editing two loops to get the effect that you want uh, when you can't find a single loop, loop that'll do what you need. For example, here I'm cruising along in my tune and I get to the outro, which has to be two bars long because of the structure of my tune. And I've got a, a uh, fill coming out of my last chorus. Okay, so the downbeat of the outro needs to be a crash. And I'm gonna, I've chosen to make the outro out of the pre-chorus uh, groove. So here it is, I come out of my chorus, opens back up, that sounds great, except boom, here I am at the end of the tune. But I don't want to just end right there, I want to actually have a fill leading into the ending. So the fill that I want is right here on pre-chorus fill. So I'm going to grab that and drag it in. But as you see, we've got a problem here is that both these loops are, the, both of them together are exactly twice as long as they need to be to put to make to work in my the section of the song that I have that has to be two bars long musically dictated by the structure of the song. So what I'm going to do here is take this pre-fill and just chop it in half. Just we just only want we only want to use the back half of it. So let's take that, stick it over here. Now if all things are wonderful that'll just work the way it is. Let's see. Oh, what happened? Okay, why does that sound unnatural? Uh, let's stick the crash on the end because we know that's going to work. Here's the ending. Okay, now the problem is we've got this crash ringing out from the, the crash that happens after the fill, but when we cut this loop off and stick the back half of our fill loop on there, the crash uh, the decay of the crash goes away. So what we want to do is go out of the grid mode, grab the the trimmer tool, and see if we can move this down a couple of hits and see if we can get a more natural crash decay and still preserve our lick at the end of the bar. Let's hear how this sounds. That works great. Okay, so take taking, combining two loops, uh, tweaking the, the edit point between the two of them just a little bit. Uh, do it by eye first and then by ear. And you end up with uh, uh, best of both worlds.